Right, so we've got Robert S's manager, Tom Davis here, ahead of tomorrow night's return to Kate Lane against Oxford United in the Women's National League Division South. Welcome, Tom. So, rugby on Sunday, last Sunday just gone. What are your final reflections on the 3-1 defeat? Similar. Um, obviously, we've come back, reviewed the footage and, and that sort of stuff, but I think I was quite clear um, with the players post-match and obviously with everybody else and you know, we we weren't in a position where we we earned the right to play and we didn't implement our style. We didn't cause rugby as many problems as we should have done. Um, and we allowed them to play at a tempo that suited them and allowed them to find um, their rhythm. And, and when you do that against against good sides, you know, they'll punish you. And, and they punished us with, with chances that they created. Um, they didn't really take those on the day. Um, but then, you know, there's... There's moments in the game that that haven't been helped, obviously, with the penalty decisions. Um, but you know, as a group, we we spoke, and it's something that, although it's frustrating, because the level of officiating needs to be um, towards the standard of the level of players, and that's consistent with, I think, pretty much every manager in this division that I've spoke to so far. Um, but it's one that we are fully understanding that we didn't deserve. Um, to get points from from that game, um, so you know we're not blaming anybody else but ourselves for the fact that you know we're in a position where we didn't take points from that game. We reflected. We we spoke last night at training, and we had a really good chat about stuff. And and a lot of it is about just getting ourselves back into a mindset and into a a belief system where we believe that we can go and and implement our game against any side in this division. And we've done that previously, and um, we'll look to do that again um, tomorrow night. Yeah, so we're back at home tomorrow night for the first time in almost a month, actually. That was the MK Dons 4-3 game. And we face an Oxford United side full of confidence after beating Ipswich Town at the weekend. How would you look to combat them tomorrow night? Like I, like I just mentioned, same as always, it's, it's about how we implement ourselves. You know, if you look at the positive performances we've had this season and the positive results we've had, it's because we've been able to, to put our stamp on games. Um, you know, you look yeah. at the results that are going on um, in and around the division at the moment, and you know it's showing that it's that it's a tight division at times, and and anybody can beat anybody. We proved that last year with with this fixture. Um, but you know we're in a situation where we know that we have the the ability, we know that we have the the belief to go and do that. Um, and yeah, it's a fantastic result for them um, on Sunday, um, one that's probably been in the making for a couple of weeks. Our job is to just go out there and perform exactly how how we know we can. Um, implement our style and our way and then when we do that we'll get the best out of the players that we have and and like I said you know we're very confident of the ability of the players that when we do that then we get positive performances and then positive results. Yeah so just for you Tom a nice milestone tomorrow night your 75th game in charge uh, three quarters of a century for the Robber Nesses how uh, proud of you of what you and the squad have achieved over the last three years? Yeah, it's nice. Um, it's not something that I kind of, um, you know, tick box and, and have a look at kind of each week, but they're, they're nice when they, they come through. Um, and 75 is nice. Um, it's something that, uh, you know, is is a really um, strong milestone and something that when the chairman and I first spoke, it was about creating sustainability and making sure that we we build this club for, for the now, but for the future. Um, we've done the the now bit, you know, by getting ourselves promoted and then sustaining that. And now we're looking to build for for the future on top of that. Um, so we're looking to create sustainability across across the the side, across the club, um, and something that I'm really proud of that that we're starting to do. And we're in that sort of initial phase. Um, so really happy that I've been able to kind of get to that point and, and been backed and supported. Um, and and yeah, really happy that we've continuously improved and, and my job is to to make sure that we do that which is is a difficult job of course because you know everybody wants to improve every week but, but it's to make sure that we keep doing that um and I just want to be and make sure that we're in a position that when we hit 100 that we're a, a better position in terms of the team the players um the club and, and everything that we're building and for me that's the the next step is to make sure that by the next milestone that occurs that everything is in a better position than than the last milestone. Um, so, yeah, positive, but not something that I kind of really look to too much. Yeah, and just finally, Tom, we're a third of the way through the season in terms of lead games, really. So we're in eight on seven points. 
and an unbeaten record at Cape Lane. How would you really rank the the side starts to the Women's National League so, uh, Division South season? Um, it it's been kind of really sort of roller coaster. Um, there's been kind of no sort of set sustained, you know, whether we've performed well or whether we've got good results or things have kind of been hit and miss, you know, we've performed well and not got results sometimes. We've we've not performed well in certain games or certain moments and been punished for that. Um, but you know, we're in a in a decent position. Um as a group, we we know and we believe that that we're better than where we are at the moment, but the the table doesn't lie. You know, you get the points for the for the for the games you get and, and that gives you that rank in the table. So look, you know, we are aware of where we're at the moment. Our job is that, you know, eighth was where we were last year and, and the minimum standard was to beat that. That's still the objective. And I feel like we're in a good position to do that. Um tomorrow's game will give us a good idea of where we're at. And the Billy Ricky game um a couple of weeks later we'll we'll do the same, you know, against two really good sides that have generated some really good performances so far this season. And we want to be involved in that conversation. Um and we want to be pushing ourselves up and and competing with those sides um, in and around that group. So, yeah, look, we've we started OK. I think that there's definitely games that we felt that we could have done better in. Um, there's no doubt about that. There's some games and performances that we're really proud of. Our job now is to, to try and create a bit more of a, a run and a bit more sustained um, pressure on, on the league and, and start moving our way back up and, and performing at a level that we know and doing that consistently. And, and like I've mentioned and keep banging on about, if we do that, then we are confident that we'll get the results that the ability and, and the group deserve. Um, but it's about us all combining and doing those things on a consistent basis. And the next few weeks we'll we'll aid that before we then hit a bit of a run of of you know cup games and and fixtures that will kind of pop in around. So our, our focus is the league, our focus is making sure that we we attack the next few fixtures. Um and by doing that, you know, we can put ourselves in a position that come January when that restart happens that we're in a positive position that we can then kick on from and, and go and achieve some really good things. Nice one. Thank you very much, Tom, and best of luck for Oxford tomorrow night. Thanks, man.